Have you ever heard a story but seen it brought to life in a new way? Well, that's what my next guest has done with his new movie, Jesus Revolution. Brent McCorkle, welcome to the Sammy Cohn Show. So good to be here. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to have you here because this isn't your first movie. We'll talk about some other films that you've worked on. But I have to ask, first of all, when you take a story that people know, right? This isn't a, a story that you created, but you're telling it in a new way or from a different perspective. How do you even begin that process on a project like this? Well, some of you really have to hold sacred. You want to mm. honor the real story, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you're tasked with telling a really entertaining version of that story, right. <laughs> making it into a movie that works, you know, and all the acts have to hit and have the good breaks and everything. Right. So, so yeah, I think uh, this this one in particular, so much of it, what you would expect that we embellished or added little mm -hmm. things to, it's actually the stuff that you wouldn't believe is the stuff that's true. Mm. So we ended up using a lot of the real material and you know it found its way into the movie. So I mean, we did not architect much around the, the truthful elements of the movie on this one. Now on some true stories yeah. you have to, you know, move things around and change chronology sure. to make it into a good movie. But this just really wanted to tell itself and it fit into a, a, a movie construct really effortlessly. Yeah, and I got a preview of it to okay. say, and I, I want to talk about something because I felt like, if I can say, some Christian films, if we can call this, have not been done maybe to the degree of what we would expect from a typical like Hollywood in-studio sure. film. This was, I was really captivated, and I don't know if it's because I didn't grow up in the church or I didn't know much about it, but for people that maybe haven't heard of what the Jesus Revolution is or was, can you just give a quick synopsis of what that period in history was and why you felt compelled to tell the story? Sure, and I would preface that by saying, if you're not in the church, go see this movie. It, it really is cool, and I appreciate you saying that about yeah. just, it, it definitely feels like something that came out of Hollywood. And for sure. Lionsgate was a partner. Mm. Um, but this movie is uh, 1969 and our country is just in a dark divided place we had all the political assassinations mlk is gone jfk is gone his brother is gone we're in the vietnam war state troopers have just shot students at kent state our yeah. own state troopers killing yeah. americans on our soil yeah like tons of crazy stuff happening um the vietnam war and everybody's just burnt out and the kids eject out of society they run away from home become hippies and in all of their sojourning spiritually, they burn out as hippies because mm -hmm. they get to the end of that, all the, the free sex and the drugs and the rock and roll, and it's still like, there's still an emptiness to what it, ever, what it means to be a human. And so the square pastor in 1969 opens up his doors to these hippies and yeah. lets them come in, much to the chagrin of his church board. Right. Causes a lot of, of strife in the church and yet he just really feel like feels like that's what he's supposed to do and he does it and you just see these beautiful disparate groups find this place of belonging together and to me this movie is like a call back to maybe the tenets of what christianity could be which is love acceptance forgiveness empathy compassion belonging yeah. all those things that it seems to me a lot of the loud voices <laughs> screaming on right. in, you know in all caps on facebook or whatever yeah. are missing like missing the point so I just feel like this movie's a love letter. I do think there's a bunch of beautiful things in it for people who go to church, but also for the mainstream to look at as well. I'm so glad you said that because I feel like as a Christ follower now, it was what the best of what we hope to be. And I mean, there's it was yes. told in this kind of true to time um, where I really felt myself pulled into the film. And one of the quotes that I loved was that the, the square pastor's wife said, the truth is always quiet, it's the lies that are loud. Mm -hmm. What do you hope people walk away? We have just a minute left, but is there is there a truth that you hope people walk away from the film with or encourage others with? I'm a pastor's kid. And all that implies, read the whole Bible when I was 18, and I've gone through this process of distilling my faith down almost to like what I believe, what I would believe about it as a five-year-old kid, mm. and that is that God is love, mm. and God loves everybody, and no matter what you've done or where you've been, there's a place for you to belong, and you are safe in God, and um, like if you can wrap your head around those things, I really think the Christian religion can be very beautiful, and it can be a place yeah. of love and belonging for people from all walks of life, irrespective of your beliefs. I think right now we're yeah. in this angry time of it, people put their beliefs over 
love. Yeah. And it's like, it's got to be love forward. I know. There's so much more I want to ask you about. <laughs> but let, suffice it to say, go see Jesus Revolution in theaters on February 24th. You can get your tickets now at JesusRevolution.movie. Kelsey Grammer, Kimberly Williams Paisley, so many great people. Make sure you check it out. Thanks, Brent. Thank you. Before I go, I need you to know God is there. Even in the midst of a month focused on love, I know so many of us are experiencing disappointments in people, events, and expectations. But the one constant in all of it is that God is there. Psalm 145, 13 says, the Lord is faithful to all his promises. When someone on this earth lets us down, which is inevitable, God will remain constant. Just remember, no matter what circumstance you may be up against, God is there. His love is unconditional and his promises endure. Be comforted that we never have to go through anything alone. He is here. I'm thankful each of you were here with me today, and I hope you've been encouraged to spread love, sprinkle joy, and spark challenging conversations. I hope you have a great day. Make sure you make it great, and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.